this should do. How do you feel? Oh, can't complain. After all, there's a cozy tree in my back. Well, I promise, this will be the last fire. After tonight, it won't be trees anymore, but walls and a roof. In Shiring, I will find the job. What if the bishop wants to hire you for life? To keep his palace in shape? Maybe strengthen the town's defenses? Plain things, Tom Builder. Just walls and roofs. There. Took me a lifetime to find some dry ones in this wet. Why didn't we just use your staff? The old thing would have done nicely. Because that thing is precious. It's not made to burn. And we might be able to sell it. Right, now let's see if this does the trick. Martha, you want to cut up some turnips? We'll be making soup. Mm, if it helps. Alfred, you go and look for water. We could just eat snow. No, it'll be proper water for my family. You sit, I'll take care of it. You still haven't answered my question, Tom Builder. What if the bishop offered you a job like they did in Exeter? Something that is beneath your craft, but pays for a lifetime. Easy work. Well, building something is never easy. You know what I mean. After Exeter, you said I could create something that matters. Something that stands for eternity. Or I could die setting up houses and sheds. But what if houses and sheds would feed your family? Would you stay this time? Or would you keep on looking? You know I could do so much more. You said the same thing then, and look where it brought us. Just promise me you'll think about it. Maybe we can sell the baby. Did you see a river nearby? No, it's just woods. <sighs> I'll be right back. I know. Any idea where I could find some water? Papa, no. I'm doing my job and you have to do yours. Anything else would be unfair. And how's my little girl holding up? I don't have time for holding up. I have to cut up our dinner. You're a steadfast lass, Martha. Thank you. Just don't stroll too far. Alfred. What? Aren't you supposed to get water? I am not keen on eating rotten leaves tonight. Alfred! Don't mind him, dear. Boys must act tough if they want to get by. Is that so? Oh, stupid snow. Why did it have to come down just now? Can you see the sun yet? No, but Martha... Don't distract me. I'm working.
hungry? I'm fine. I like Salisbury. I wish we had <coughs> too hard for my fist, but my pot should break it. Houses and sheds. Walls and roofs. I could do so much better. But I have to feed my family. Shoo. Nah, no getting through there. And did you think about what I asked you? I might never build a cathedral. Is that so bad? Why is a cathedral so special? Well, you've seen a few. You should know. Yes, but there are so many already. Why do you have to build another one? Is it because God needs more houses? <laughs> May I? If you must. Well, actually, a cathedral isn't so different from any other house. It always starts simple, with some walls. And on top of that, you put a roof. Very good. A roof to keep off the rain, and walls to keep up the roof. Together, that makes one big, long, but dark room, like a cave. <laughs> So, of course, you may want some light coming in. Windows. Right. So the people inside can see what they're doing. Um, I think you forgot something. People can't get in if there are only walls. So, what do you suggest? Doors, of course. Right. And not only doors, but a big and impressive one to let in as many people as possible. By now, we've carved quite a few holes in our cathedral. Unfortunately, not every building can carry a roof like that and have so many windows. So what do we do? 
good and solid work. That's what we do. If we don't want our cave to collapse, we have to make everything perfect. Not only strong, but consistent and perfectly even. The walls, the roof, the windows, everything perfectly proportioned. You shouldn't say big words like proportioned when talking to a child. What does it mean? It means beauty. Well, it means not only will it keep them dry, it will give them hope. Like this? <laughs> Mama? The baby is coming. But it's not G. Have your waters broken yet? Soon after we started walking this morning. You should have told me. I'm so tired. I don't believe I can bring it into the world. Well, look at all the blood. Do to help. Cover me. Will she die? She'll die, right? <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Children? Martha? Go and collect more wood. Let's have a bigger fire. Let me do it. I'm quicker than her. No, let me do it. <laughs> Alfred is faster. He has to do it. But I want to help too. Collect some reeds and make you two lengths of string, each big enough for a necklace. What for? You'll see. Oh, your hands are cold. Oh, I could warm them for you. No. Stay here. Please. I, I put more wood on the fire. Can you feel the warmth? Yes. Remember when Martha was born and the Lady Isabella acted as midwife? You were building a chapel and you asked her to send her maid to fetch the midwife from the village. And she said... That drunken old witch will let her deliver a literal wolfhound pups, and she took us to her own chamber. And poor Lord Robert could not go to bed until Martha was born. But why are you talking about that now? She's bleeding. I'd say for a year as bad as this one, we've managed quite well. You lost your work. And then Martha almost got killed by that pig thief. You call that well? We're going through hell. I oh, know. But we're still here for each other, aren't we? Holding together as a family. Us builders aren't carved out of measly wood. Never were. Expect a lump of granite to come falling from my legs? I wouldn't be surprised. I am proud of you. I feel so weak. You'll make it. You're a strong woman. That's why I love you so much. Two of a kind, eh? She's losing too much blood. I'm sorry that I kept quiet all day. I didn't want anyone to worry. It's not long now. 
me ready. It's all right. The day was hard enough on everyone without me complaining. I know. But we will get through this. Snow if you must to make it warm. Right. It's coming. Help me, Tom. It's coming. I can see it. It looks horrible. He's perfect. A perfect boy. You're still bleeding. It's all right. It will stop soon. Tom. Yes? You make a fine midwife. Did you know that? Do you remember the night I came to you, in your lodge, when you were working on my father's church? Of course. How could I ever forget? I never regretted giving myself to you. Never. For one moment. Every time I think of that night, I feel so glad. Me too. I hope you build your cathedral. I thought you were against it. I was. But I was wrong. You deserve something beautiful. Build a beautiful cathedral. For me. Papa. What's wrong with her face? Agnes! Agnes, wake up!
year of our Lord, 1135, had come to an end. King Henry of England, son of William the Conqueror, had died. It was a time of poverty and death. In their despair, some had come to believe Christ and all his saints had gone to sleep. And that the pillars of the earth themselves had begun to crumble. Is there no one to welcome us? Who goes there? You just crossed the bridge, right? That'll be a farthing for you and a penny for your horse. Monks and villagers don't have to pay a toll. Ah, sorry, I'm not good at this. I told Brother Paul. It's not easy doing the Lord's work when you're hungry. It is not much, but I can share this with you. I hope now it will be easier for you to fulfill your duties. Oh, I'm sure it will. Will you take care of my horse, brother? I have come to see Prior James. Prior James? That's him the bells are tolling for. Leave the horse here. I'll get it down to the Priory later. The fish should go nicely with that cheese. What? Why are they ringing the bells? Don't you know? The devil has come to Kingsbridge. come to Kingsbridge. They lock it. Maybe the side entrance is open. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the pestilence that walketh in darkness, 
the pestilence that rode in on the lightning that struck our cathedral four years ago. Did you not all feel its presence here ever since? James did, and I did as well. But the Lord says, Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. Our beloved Prior James has served the Lord all his life. He shall be delivered from the darkness, from this dark earth. Prior James? Philip. Francis? Shh. For many years, James has been our prior. After the upcoming election, I vow to lead Kingsbridge Priory with the same steady hand. Amen. Philip. We told your brother you'd come to Kingsbridge New Year's Day. I did not expect to see you here. I was on my way back to Gloucester and wanted to see you. A priest working in the world of politics. You must tell us about it, Francis. Of course. And his brother a prior of what now? Two years? It's been four years, Cuthbert. <laughs> I see. How are things in St. John in the forest, Philip? Our little cell is happy and healthy. Happy and healthy. Thanks to your brother, Francis, St. John in the forest is prospering. His novices are obedient, his monks humble and pious. And our own priory is in such a sorry state. You know James did the best he could. It was not his fault. Also, they make a remarkable cheese at St. John's. <laughs> Come by the kitchen later to see us, will you? Brother Cuthbert seemed upset. Well, we all are. The way James died was disturbing. Disturbing? How did Prior James die? Seven days ago, Brother Remigius found James's room empty. We all looked for him for hours. Then we found his footprints by the bridge and a, a hole in the ice. Oh no. no. In the small hours of Christmas Day, he must have walked out on the river. We didn't even find his body. The river took him, and the cold. I will pray for James. See me when you have time, Philip. I will be in the cathedral. And I should go and see how Brother Cuthbert is doing. It's good to see you, Philip. Maybe things will get better after the chapter elects the new prior. Hopefully. I will come by the kitchen later, Milius. At least it wasn't Remedius who punished us. Do you, do you ever think of running? Our Father that art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. I'm happy to see you, little brother. It's good to see you too, Philip. Your hair is starting to get a bit grey. Yours isn't. At least in this one case, I will be the one to boldly charge ahead of you. You've always been bold. You just don't admit it to yourself. <laughs> Francis, what are you doing here? King Henry is dead. I know. Word reached St. John shortly before I left. First the King, now Prior James. The devil has come to Kingsbridge. What? Just something I heard. Something foolish. And yet, these are dark times indeed. King Henry's death caused quite a commotion in the world of politics. There will be war. Maybe we can. I came not just to meet you. I was sent to look for a messenger of my lord, Earl Robert. Here? In Kingsbridge? Farmers said the messenger was heading for Kingsbridge two weeks ago. The knight was carrying a confidential document that might change the course of the conflict. People here trust you. Maybe the monks here know something? We will find him. One more thing. No one can know why we're looking for the knight. Everyone did, but I don't get beaten up. Saying prayers a hundred times isn't that bad of a punishment. You look like you want to ask me something. You are Philip of Gwyneth? Yes, but you can call me Brother Philip. You see? Told you he wouldn't mind. Yes. Now ask him. How about you ask him? I already asked Brother Andrew. That doesn't count. He wouldn't answer. What is it? Brother Milius told us you know the scripture very well. Could you 
tell us about God's temple? Brother Andrew wouldn't tell us. It must be a place. A cathedral. Each of us is God's temple in the way that he created us. And what, what if someone does something to God's temple? The scripture says, if anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. Even if he destroys his own temple of God? So for prior James, there's no salvation as well? Prior James did not commit suicide. But no one saw him that night. No one knows. God knows. God knows what sent him running out onto the ice. They say the devil was chasing him. Say his name. I have seen brave men run for many reasons. Never have I seen the devil. So we should not make room for him, neither here nor in our hearts. All right? Yes, Brother Philip. Thank you, Brother Philip. Brothers, have you two heard about a knight visiting Kingsbridge? The Earl of Shiring was here, and some of his knights. And many other nobles at Christmas. It would have been a lone rider, a messenger. I don't think so. If someone had come to Kingsbridge, Brother Paul would have seen him. Uh, Brother Paul went back out to his toll hut. I see. Thank you. So, uh, again, we're all God's temple. This priory is so much bigger than our small cell in the forest. Philip! Brother Milius. Come! Warm yourself by the oven. Is that Philip? Tell him to warm himself by the oven. Thank you, Brother Cuthbert. Hard at work, as usual, Milius? I have to serve salt fish six times a week now. We hear you have fresh fish every day at your cell in the forest. Every other day we even have poultry. You have done wonderful work at St. John's, Philip. We, on the other hand, had a week prior for 13 years. May the Lord rest his soul. What you worked hard for at St. John's is wasted here in the Mother House. After the election, the new prior ought to put things right. Remedius, put things right. Maybe we underestimate Remigius. He's about to burn all the books and documents in the prior's room. Including the priory's ledgers. Remigius says James asked for everything to be burnt after his death. Except for his Bible. What? Without the ledgers, the priory's finances will be beyond saving. Was no one else nominated? Only Cuthbert. 
I refused. I'm too old. No one else dares to follow in Prior James's footsteps. Not since he began talking to the devil. What? One day, he started talking to the devil, as if they were standing side by side. He was bargaining with the devil for his soul, whispering about his sins. His sins? Did you see a knight in Kingsbridge? You mean, aside from the nobles attending the Christmas service? No, I don't remember any knights visiting us. We'll talk more later. Brother Cuthbert. Ah, we were waiting for you. I hope you brought some of that wonderful cheese you make at St. John's. I... Uh, I gave it to one of your novices. Why would you do that? He said it's not easy doing the Lord's work when you're hungry. Greedy brother Marcus. You are too trusting, Philip. Brother Cuthbert, you seem worried. Prior James was a kind man, but the Priory is in a terrible state for them. Philip knows. He was just too kind to say anything. Yes, I know. I wanted to use my New Year's visit to talk with Prior James about these matters. We should be rich. The Priory has much land and collects from many parish churches. But we are in debt. Our novices steal from us, Philip. The novices are stealing? Yes. Someone took my keys. Remigius blames me for losing them. But someone used them to steal food from the cellar more than once. Today I found something missing again. Has there been a knight to Kingsbridge recently? Hmm. Milius, wasn't there a poor soul found dead before Christmas? I don't know if he was a knight. He was put to rest in the cemetery. The cemetery? That was the right thing to do. Let us continue another time, Brother Cuthbert. Of course. Wonderful. I always put some extra stones on the stove to warm up water. Put one in your pocket, and you'll keep warm. Oh? Ouch! Careful, they're hot. Nice and warm, and I didn't burn my hands, Milius. I knew you could do it. Milius, why do you keep a beautiful pot like this around? Oh, it, uh, it reminds me that we should strive for order and beauty. I started collecting some seeds and nuts because I wanted to start a new garden. A good idea. I never got around to collecting more, though. If you find some, let me know.
You keep everything nice and tidy around here, Milius. It's not easy. This morning, one of my ladles broke. That's never a good sign. Everything is falling apart. Brother Paul? Philip. Ah, ouch. Oh. What's wrong with your foot, Brother Paul? Oh, just a chill brain. It will ease when the spring comes. You should have a fire. It's all right. It's not that cold. Don't take it lightly. Many will die this winter, for lack of food or shelter. Remigius thinks the Lord is testing us. Only the sinners perish. No, the poor perish. And those that he has freezing out here. Don't say anything to Remigius, will you? If he thinks I've been complaining, he'll be displeased. Here, Paul. Ouch! Oh. <laughs> A hot stone! <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's a mercy, Philip. Thank you. Remedia should give you a fire, or not have you sit here at all. I don't really mind. Winter is bound to end sometime. Philip, if you ever run into trouble with Remedius, be careful to answer him. Do not stay silent. Silent? Nothing makes him angrier than someone who doesn't answer. He becomes weak and defensive. It's not fitting for a sub-prior, let alone prior. Have you heard about a knight in Kingsbridge? A knight? Oh, yeah. Yes. He was just lying by the road, just a mile away from the Priory. He must have fallen from his horse. Where is he now? <sighs> he died. We buried him in the cemetery. Did he have a name? Did he say anything? Oh, he could not speak. But the look in his eyes told me he was afraid. I held his hand and prayed with him. Well, he died. Did the knight have anything with him? Uh, there was a letter. I gave it to Prior James. Remedius will probably burn it with the rest of James's papers. James insisted that all his books and documents shall be burnt after his death. Except for his Bible. I heard about this. I think that would be unwise. Sometimes, I wonder if it was because of that letter. A few days later, Prior James fell through the ice. Right here, Philip. Maybe I brought a curse on Kingsbridge. How could a letter bring harm? The word of God brings salvation. But what if the devil took to writing? What then? Hmm. <laughs> 